Hello. It's Monday morning, June the 29th, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I am happy to be able to have a few moments to spend with you this morning and talk to you about a very important subject. I think something that most people experience at times. I'd like to discuss this this principle of discouragement with you and talk to you about the fact that we should not be discouraged. What is discouragement? What's the cause of it? It's something that many people feel from time to time. Probably most people at some point are discouraged about a situation in their life. And it's a Bible principle and a truth that's discovered that we're discouraged occurs actually six times in the King James Bible. And so it is a commonly addressed issue and it's something that people probably commonly experience. What's the cause of it? Well, most people would say, I just feel discouraged at times. And I would say on the basis of what the Bible teaches, that discouragement typically is based on a feeling and not on faith. And the reality is that if God has promised something, he doesn't change. He's not going to vary from that. But if we don't see the answer forthcoming, we will sometimes become discouraged. And so it's a situation that's based on feelings rather than faith. Three out of the six times the word discouraged appears in the Bible. It's about Old Testament Israel not occupying the promised land and the situations that they faced in that process. And Moses urged the people not to be discouraged. What was that about? Well, it was about the fact that they had refused to believe God and now they were operating on their feelings and their sight, what they could see was happening around them and what they were experiencing in the realm of their experience because they had refused to believe God. The word can mean to make spiritless, to dishearten, to oppress, or to break utterly. It can also mean to liquefy. And if somebody's determination is strong and then they face serious opposition, their determination softens. Maybe the hardness that they had determined they were going to exercise in that situation becomes liquefied and they just give up because of being discouraged. Well, may I challenge you today that you should look to the word of God and if things don't go the way you expected them to or wanted them to, just trust the Lord that he's got a plan in mind and it may not be his will that you have those things that you desired, but he has something even better in store. The Bible says that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose, Romans eight twenty eight, And the Lord has something in store for his child that is probably even better and more blessed and more fulfilling than what they wanted that they didn't see materialize in front, in front of their faces, in front of their eyes, and so they became discouraged. The reality is, if we just keep our eyes on the Lord and trust Him and claim His promises, we have no reason to be discouraged. We just keep on doing what we should be doing and trusting the Lord to make up the difference and to bring us out where He wants us to be and where we need to be. May I just encourage you today, don't be discouraged. Just trust the Lord and claim his promises and experience his joy and rest in his abilities to do what you cannot do. God bless you today.